Okay, just going to give a quick run through on how to back up a Nokia SIM lock area on a BB5 phone. It's important for if you're unlocking a phone and it happens to go wrong during the process and you end up with a corrupt SIM lock area, you can restore it through this method. So I'm running JAF 1.98.62. The later versions don't seem to have handle PL recording properly. I'm using the OGMP key. So I'm just going to launch JAF. Once opened, head to the BB5 tab and ensure that CRT308 and CRTBKP are both ticked. Now we just want to hit flash. You will get a warning that downgrading will kill a phone firmware wise, but we're not dealing with any flashing at the moment. So just there, hit continue. You can see on the bottom it's starting to patch the bootloader. and we'll start reading the certificates. Now this does take quite a while to do, but it's important that you do it for every phone, just as that little bit of extra security. Now what I'd recommend is making a folder on your desktop that you will re recognize as relating to the phone that you're dealing with. So I'm dealing with a Nokia N95, it's RM159. That's my circuit type and I'm just going to call this demo for this demonstration. Okay, right, it does take quite a while to run through the whole reading and recording of the certificates, so I'll just speed up the video and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so now that we can see that the RPL file has been created successfully, which is in the log there, and the PM file has also been made. Now what you need to do is navigate to that folder, so it's under your C drive, Program Files, Odeon, O-D-E-O-N, JAF, and we're focusing on this folder here, Program Data. Okay, now in here we can see our RPL and PM file. So just copy them into the folder that you created on your desktop. Right. Now in here, make a folder and call it Zulia Backup. This isn't as apparent in this demonstration, but if you're dealing with Rapido V2 phones, uh, such as the Nokia N95 8GB, it also records the PM120 field. This is different software that we're using. We're going to use the Zulia Note P Unlocker version 2.01. Okay, so you just want to hit Make Backup. backups we made okay. It defaults to the folder that the software itself is in. So where I have my Nokia service in folder, there's my two backups. Now just open up your folder on your desktop relating to the phone and just shift them over into there. Okay, so now we have a full backup of the Nokia Simlock area. We have our RPL our PM field and the backup from the Zulia program as well. I'm just going to close that. Right, I'm going to demonstrate what's going to ha how you would um, deal with some corrupt SIMLOCK area. This will be shown by the config key and provider key of the phone showing all zeros. So I'm just going to erase the PM field 308. Now 
Jaff seems to be a little bit buggy and it makes some kind of cache. So if I close Jaff and reopen it, on the phone screen itself it will say contact retailer. And if we read it within Jaff, the provider key for the Simlock area is all the zeros. That means that it's now corrupt. Okay, so now let's repair that. What you'll need to do is go to your CRT tool, untick Jaff format. You want to write an RPL. It's a plain RPL file. And select your RPL. So this is in the folder that you've created that's relevant to this phone in your desktop earlier. So we just want to write that RPL by clicking write RPL. We'll see down here in the log it's going to just write some of the hardware certificate data. And done. So we can now close that. The next thing that you need to do is write the PM308 field backup that we made here. So just click write PM and it's in our service box so we hit service and in the folder again we have our PM file which is there. So it's going to power the phone and write the PM field. Okay and our records written okay. So now if I just restart Jaff, again this is only due to it being glitchy. Flip over to the BB5 tab, read your phone information. And sure enough, our provider key has been restored to how it was. And that's now repaired. Okay, so I hope that this helps, especially if you're dealing with some of the ZDR unlocking software. It can sometimes go wrong, and it's always good to have a backup. Okay, thanks for watching.